welcome to another star race. I'm Eric Champagne. First thing I see is the pinnant is up on the screen a little bit, but the wind is to the right. So the line, looking at these ley lines and their apex, is pretty square. If it's a square line, starting at the boat has an advantage, as you'll be on starboard and can perhaps hold people on starboard tack all the way out to ley line. The wind is going left though, looking at the socks. So this pinion is going to become favored before the start. A little bit of a gamble, but Ooh, I'm, not... I'm doing bad on that one. I should not. I think I'm okay, but barely. Yeah, I'm all right. A little lucky on my timing there. I was talking and not quite paying attention. We're going to have to go this way quite a ways. Uh, for the lefty to come in, it looks like it's shifting the left a little bit. Have a moment to take a look around at uh, the other racers. We got Greek 9 in here and M Power, both very good club sailors. Greek 9 is going to hold me out. Oh, he's being nice sometimes. We get a little club member friendliness. I'm the same way. Generally, the first lap will be pretty nice. The second lap, you got to bring on the heat. We'll say hello to everybody. So, Greek 9 will have a little advantage later. Wind's going right, which will advance him slightly. It says I'm ahead by one meter, two meters. I bet that goes away and he becomes leader as this wind goes right. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to get a lead bow. He's coming early. If I were him, I might have waited just a little bit longer for the wind to go right a little bit. Attack back right away. I think he can still get attack in. If he attacks now, I will duck him. If he goes to ley line, I'm just gonna have to hope. He went two lengths past. It's either a mistake on his part or he's being nice. As I go down the offset, I'll take a look. The pins just popped up in the little screen window up in the upper left. Looks like the gates are even downwind, but the wind's in right, so I'll definitely want to jibe. come out here. I headed up a little bit trying to get into clean air. Let's see, we'll both be in clean air. So the Greek and I are even. It says he's ahead. The gates are pretty even, but the wind's going right. So my gate will be favored. I'll be able to come around and tack. <laughs> he did the same. I'm lifted. We'll see what he does. He's going to attack there. He should have ducked me. I know it was painful to keep going on a header, but now, now I simply just pound on him.
We're all friends here. We know the deal. He's gonna be uh, pretty keen to attack me down the middle. Have to be clever. Staying to his right side of the screen downwind so I can keep star of advantage will be pretty important. The question is how high do I need to sail? I guess it's pretty high. After attacking him twice, he will probably want to come after me. We'll see here. Remember the pin was favored you can see in the screen in the upper left corner of the, of the upper left corner of our screen that the pin is up a little bit, making it a little closer to him. But looking at the angle between him and I, I think I'm still closer to the line. BRI confirms that, saying I'm three meters ahead. If nothing changes, I'll win. Okay, look at the wind speed. The star sails so deep down downwind that I don't actually look at the wind speed. Uh, because you, we just, you're not traveling through a lot of area, so you don't change through a lot of wind, uh, wind areas. He's being very nice. If I were him, I would have had have attacked me a long time ago. At this point, it's pretty much over.